Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here, and we've returned back to the Yumaniki fan game called Me. Although, is it me or is it you? I have no idea. But I'm going to say before the video, apologies if you can hear the fan, it's actually quite a warm day where I am. 24, 25 degrees, whatever the weather, sorry, whatever the weather wants to have in store. But now we're going to go to the suspiciously bloodshot eye world. And as you can see, everything is red black and red so we're just gonna go and scoot down to see what we can find in this time around there's an eye there which is very different nope you're just generic okie dokie i thought you had to have some sort of something special on board with you go through this blue sign and the world is even more red more red than usual so yeah, this game, it has lots of maps, but each map isn't too big, so it kind of makes it really nice so that you have lots of different parts of the mind itself in which this protagonist exhibits through their dreams, but at the same time we are given a very clear concept of certain things in which the protagonist goes on about during their day. Um, let's see, none of these portraits have any importance when it comes to interacting. I've been through this area before when, I've not, when I'm not recording. I'd like to have a bit of an idea of what I'm doing in the next episode from now on. Because in the past, I used to just play it blindly and try and find my own way just from those experiences. But now, I'm trying to look a game a bit more thoroughly when I'm not recording. So I have an idea of what I want to do next in terms of the next video. But only for these games, kind of games. But other RPG Maker games, not really, because it's not a case of wandering around trying to find different places. Now, the next question is, do I go into the building or do I interact with a plant? Well, we're going to the building first and see what there is to offer. And it is a room with stairs. This is the only part which I did not explore on my own. Uh, I will interact. Uh, so, vending machine, would you? What would you like to do? I would. Let's see. A uh, menu color scheme. Pink sherbet. Strawberry. No, blueberry balm. Garnered red. Hmm. I'll stick with that one for a while. You got nothing to say? Not like the other ones, which disappear. Um. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll go through the basement first to see what there is down there. But firstly, let's see what if these beds are interactable. Can we go on the beds? Can we sleep in the beds? Uh, what? Uh, wait. Okay, good. We can return here. Because sometimes when you go through a passage, it doesn't allow you to return back. Golly. What is this place? Who designed this place? Is there an, okay, there isn't a door there, which I would think there would be some sort of sneaky door installed. Where are we going? What are we up to? How do we get to the other side? Or maybe it's just the same thing over and over again. Hello, pink blobs. I know you're all very, very girly today, but what can I do for you, honestly? I have not got anything to offer you. Hi. You got nothing to say? Okay, I'll just simply go forward through into this cave. This place is... This game has so many different dimensions. It's unreal. What the... Ah, that's interesting. Is this a... No, we can't go that way. So we have to interact on the bench first. Wait for it to go dark. Or we'll get off the bench and it goes dark. And then go down. That's pretty neat. Orb. Ah. Hidden places for orbs. Even though it may seem like a pretty pointless path that you're travelling along at the time. If it, <coughs> sorry, if it doesn't give you an effect, then just explore around and see what the game has to offer for you. Because it's not just the finding things, it's also the exploring. It's coming up with your own different theories behind what's within the mind of the protagonist. Because in my theory, it's impossible to envisage something if you have not acquired an experience or witnessed something which has a direct relation or a similar relation towards what you're dreaming. And it's probably more likely going to be the terms of something which you think is bad rather than something which you think is good because it has 
I don't know, human nature has its way of always thinking negatively at times, which I don't like personally myself, but it's just the way that people are. People like to be negative in some cases, but stay positive in this place. Build up an energy inside you. And just remember that every day is a new day. No single day is the same. Ah, there's a weird little glitch over here. Okay, we'll interact with you. No, not binary! What have I done to deserve binary, for goodness sakes? Zeros and ones everywhere. Actually, let's go back the way we came. Go back the way we came and see if there's anything different. What the... No, not the binary. Anything but binary, for goodness sakes. Oh my gosh. Hi there. I know you're something. Ah, oh, we go out of the TV. Okay. Don't interact with the guy then. Because he's going to be something which is going to be helpful for us. But I want to explore more of the binary world. Seriously. If you're not acquainted with binary, it's just practically zeros and ones. Zeros and ones which go beyond the understanding of certain things. So, let me just give you a quick tutorial of what zeros and ones are. A zero means it's off, one means it's on. And now it's accelerated. What the hell is this place? Now I'm really startled and regret all of this. Did the world change as well? If this place is not called the binary world according to the author then... I'm sorry but this is just something else. Because this is probably one of the only opportunities which you could probably call this the binary world. And to be logic about it. Oh my gosh, maybe I should put like an epileptic warning about this because these zeros and ones are pretty hectic. Oh, is that literally the only escape for us? And going between them again doesn't resolve anything. Can we go back to where we originally came from now that's sped up? Uh, this door maybe? No, that's not a door, that's just part of the decor. Hmm. Where was it again where we came out from? Party hat? No, there's more than one party hat. In there? No. Seriously. Golly. Golly. I'm not a person of programming, and I tried to do, well, I wanted to do a game design relating course in the University of Huddersfield, and that was a full three-year course, but I only managed to make it till February or March within the first year before I realised that this is not the course for me, because the, the program itself had far too much coding for me to, for me to be able to apprehend, because I myself, I despise programming as a, gen as a general. I, de I despise programming, despise coding. Not that I despise anyone who's in the field of it, but it's it's the subject itself. It has no sense whatsoever. Has no logical sense, no common sense. You're basically describing, well not describing, you're basically talking to the computer itself. And it's like having a translator on board and doing that sort of shenanigans but yeah so don't interact with the um, with the thing itself that's what it's is trying to say so there's nothing else for us to do down here because that binary thing was the only thing which we could have done but I don't know if that actually led to anything important like an event or uh, an orb let's go through here now and see what we can find uh, X marks the spot, we're gonna le- Okay, that does lead somewhere. 
It does lead to somewhere, but we're not going to go there at this point in time. There might be other places which we can go to whilst we're here. Uh, let's see. I think that's the same plants. So we don't need to go there. Um, anything else down here? We can't go down there, that's for sure. So that litter makes one thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else. It's a pretty small world. And there's only one thing which we can interact. So let's go through there then. I just want to make sure that's all. Another intertwined thing. No, that's a lamp. Anything down these passages? It's like a binary world. But just with the bizarre paths. Although I would say that this music is probably suited for something a bit more hellish. Because it sounds like that grim situation in which you're just at your life's end. Or preparing for your life's end. Oh no, very negative topic. We'll go from there then. Uh, blocks. Okay. Can we erase you though? Oh, wait, how can these boxes talk? We don't have mouths and we got ourselves a coin which is worth a hundred R. Hmm. I expected you blocks to do something once I go through, but it doesn't seem that's going to be the case. That's fine, we'll live with that. Now we go down here and see what else is here, maybe? What can we find within the depths of these worlds? I'm not sure, to be frank. Uh, one thing I love about this particular Yumaniki fan game is that not all the worlds are unlimited. There's actually boundaries, which is nice. Won't go there just yet, though. Um, if there's anything else in this world in which I can explore, then that's great. But for the moment, we'll do that. So, we know that there's another passage there, following the rightmost path. But I want to see if there's anything else which we can discover while we're here. Because sometimes when you go too far into worlds, you forget that there are other paths in which you could have pursued at the time. So there's a left path here as well, which we can go through. And I like this sort of thing. If I've ever made my own Yumiiki fan game, it would be the case where they, it would be a lot of small worlds, but each one would have its own unique feature. So not every single one of them is gigantic. Imagine the amount of um, maps that Yumi Tuki has. And also imagine the size of the maps themselves, and that is just... That game is insane. Like, that's probably the biggest Yumi Niki fan game that would be ever made. That would be ever made, sorry. Um, nothing this way. Like, nothing. Okay, extended imagination, which has no purpose other than to serve as a light source. Um... You orbs. And I've noticed before that when you wield the eraser, me's mouth opens up. Hi. Look, you don't have to scream. Sorry about that. Like, literally, you don't need to scream. It's... The less screaming you do within your demise, the less painful it will be for those around you. Including that one person that is killing you and those around you which are going to die after you. Now, so this is a room. These holes. Looks like a plant. Go across here. Two people without torsos and arms. Okay, a very blurry person. Don't know what you've eaten, but we'll go with it. Eating a lot of candy. Multicolored as well. It's the alternate versions of Green Man. 
Those little green figurine army men. Those were the bees knees back in my childhood. Hi there. You keep following us around. There's a small hole there. But I don't have an ability which can shrink me. If if that was the case, well. Why am I there? I don't want to ponder over the thought of why I'm there in particular. Wow. When did I get sunny? I mean, when did it get sunny? When did I get sunny? Hi. Um. You transported me into a different realm. I am. Um, I thank you for that, actually. Let's see what is in here. What's with this brain? I might need an eye for you, brain. Viewpoint. What the? Rainbow? Hey, go at the door. You are not ready yet. Please go away. What do you mean by viewpoint? What kind of perspective are you trying to unleash to the viewers? I'm kind of trying to say that this is bad, but it's so mysterious. Mysteriously good. Go through this lovely rainbow door at the same time. Wake up! Oh. Uh, okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're gonna send me one of these spirals? Thank you very much. But no these games recently, um, I'm gonna save first beforehand because I don't want the game to crash on me. Because that's a thing with your Miniki fan games, so they're very, very liable to crash. Anything else down here which we missed? If not, then we'll proceed to the right area which we went through earlier. Um, anything from you guys? I fit in here. Do you have a place where you fit in? Do that? I do have a place. And it is called Hell. Like all the other Yominiki protagonists that I am... Um, have a cousinly acquaintance with. Goodbye. No, oh, I can't erase you. Find me like that. I wish to have erased you. Because look at that X in your head. It's literally a target. Itchy nose. And sometimes an itchy mouth and an itchy beard. I do not appreciate the itchiness sometimes. I prefer things to have a flow, a constant flow where nothing and absolutely nothing stands in my way. But itches are inevitable. Let's go through here and see what we can find out. It's all good. It's all glamorous. It's all gracious, spectacular, excellent. That is the way of the Flare Blitz. Let's go up here then and see what we can find in this world which we stamp down on. And then we get somehow transported. Okay, we can't go off this path, which is okay. You have a massive, massive X on your head. Am I supposed to be amused by that? Hi. Look through this hole. Oh, wow. Looks like the dude that we found earlier. What are you doing in a room full of others like yourself? Except you're the only one that looks like you. Because after all, everyone's different. Orb? It is an orb. I'll try and find as many orbs as I can in this wall. That is a sight to behold. Oh, wow. You unleashed that stick in her. Or them. I'm not trying to assume genders here. It's 2017. Stick that stick in them. Them. There. 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 There are three different theirs in which you can say. Theirs in they are. 
there isn't like over there and there isn't like that's their bicycle there we go three different ways to differentiate there they are coming over to play with me they are coming over to my barbecue their little girl is coming around with us have you got a present for her? I most certainly do because she's a good girl and it's her 7th birthday let's see over there we shall find ourselves a plant and from there we're going to escape and from there we're going to find ourselves a different world okay <laughs> this is going to end that little conversation of the differences between there, there and there although it is something which people misuse on the internet a lot like when you use wrong there <laughs> and then someone gram grammar grammar grammatically corrects you uh, that's kind of very nice to see especially when someone's trying to troll another person and it's just a case of well if you're gonna try and troll me by thinking that I'm not saying the word correctly that I don't understand a word and you type in the comments that you don't like the way I do it but that's fine but if you try and use the wrong there or use the wrong grammar that's an open hole for you mate and you're going to try and grammar grammatic grammatically incorrect me um well it'll be very good if you can grammar yourself in the, in the, in text some people are so big behind their computers but in real life they just you, you could probably squash them like a walnut with your own fists it's like be a bigger person and only comment what you're gonna say if you can say it for real if you can't say it for real then just do not say anything at all because in that way you're saving yourself a lot of time and a lot of stress because there's always an aftermath in what you do at times not pointing anyone out in particular just saying as a random thing right where did i come from before i have no idea i think it was this light source down here yeah because it was a, a lamp post so nice little excursion there we could have simply gone north east from the door. <laughs> okay. An eye. An eye for an eye, maybe. Let's see what's in here. Ah, this is somewhere else which I have not been before, but it's quite nice to see something new. Wow, look at all this. It's a very, very magenta forest. see what lies in here with our lovely blue hair now we're in a normal world let's see how big this world is in particular again not too big which is very nice some games have maps which are far too big and you can become lost so easily so this is a good example of a game which has medium sized maps don't have them too small because it'll be a bit too easy but don't have them too big which in you have to wait, press wake up every time you go into a room okay what the heck okay it's completely blank let me go in here just so that we can remove this error of a noise. Which means completely blank. There's somebody here. Hi. I know this is not the end. As I thought, this is not the end. Have you got something to say? you are lucky see you do not worry as everything will be fine yeah. 
Well, see you. Everything is fine, maybe. Don't have to get my hopes up on that matter. Okay, after that excursion, let's see what else is here. There's a bunch of eyes just looking through the windows. Great. Another door up here. I know there's one to the right as soon as we entered out of that other door, but I'd like to explore our areas first at times. Ladder. I was about to say, where the heck are we? <laughs> <laughs> this time, let's just go down. Wait, let's go down. Keyboard, cooperate, please. Puddle. Puddles of ink, I would describe it as. Not blood. Maybe it's blood of a certain creature, but that would be very inexplainable. Hi there. We collect them. We collect these blocks. Okay, maybe it's our mission to collect all these blocks and then something will happen. Unless that was the only block. Uh, down one screen and then go from there. Luckily we go faster than these blocks, so finding all of them, if it's the case, should be relatively okay. Um, anything else? Maybe. Go down again. Ah, oh, there's an igloo. Can I help you? We found a broom. Oh my gear, she reminds me of the cold of the nightmare of the snow. I recommend that RPG horror game. One of those really hard, intense ones as well. Oh, what are we gonna do in here? What the? Is that us? No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. What the? Oh my gosh. Gone. And that's how you do that again, damn it. Well, there is a lot of death events in this game. I'm not going to lie. It's very nice to see a certain array of different events which can force you to awaken. And see what else is in this place. Starting off with this room on the right. We didn't manage to go through everything because of that weird figure. Hi there. Good morning. I have lost my box. It's very important. Oh, is that the box? Oh, it is. Thanks for giving me it. I am overjoyed. Ah, oh, so that's what that box was earlier, that blue box. Now I will pay you. Just wait a sec. Here is a hundred R for your trouble and an old key I found lying somewhere. Oh, thank you. So that blue blo blue box that we collected earlier, that was the box she was referring to. So I'm, I'm glad we picked it up. Very good. Now there's another door over here. Hmm. Distort. Let's see what this does. A monster? Oh my god. Hi. Uh, we may go about things, you know, very, very nice. God, look at us. 
No, I'd rather go to something else, to be honest. Um, now, we'll just travel around normally without the distaste of ugliness in our eyes. Multiple, multiple eyes. You asleep? Okay. Excuse me, I don't feel very well. Much better. I shouldn't have eaten that plant just outside the store. Just don't worry about me. I'm okay. We don't seem to be okay. Hey, don't see the paper. Oh. Okay. What about this broken mirror? I thought this would be something. This world's fractured. And there's jellyfish in it as well. Is this particular one following me? That was very unusual and surprising. I didn't expect some f broken flowers to be down there. To teleport me to another area. Let's see what else is in this area. Ah, oh, there's another pad which I can teleport through. Let's go to this one first. Locker A, B, C. Nothing which shall suffice has been helpful. Spread fishes. Very handy, that is up there. <laughs> That's most likely going to take me somewhere else, so we'll ignore that for the moment. Lots of lovely fishes in here, all of which have an eye. That's one thing about this game, it has lots of eyes in it. And under normal circumstances, I'm not particularly frightened by, by these eyes, but eyes are something which kind of gives me the chills. So if you, in particular, if you want to make a game that's going to scare me quite a bit, then I'd recommend putting some really, really, really stern eyes. Not stern eyes, but eyes which just look at the screen, look at you particularly. Even when the eyeballs don't appear, they're just so ominous. Like someone's staring into your soul almost. And that to me is probably one of the things which I have gotten better over the years thanks to horror games. But still, eyes get to me. Eyes which just look straight at you. Have I been here before? Yeah, I've been here before. I recognise that. Okie dokie. Well, we'll ignore this area for now. But yeah, I've been there before. I just didn't bother checking one of these things because there's so many of them in that world. Why would, why would one particular one have something special? Beyond me. Go back through here. And then let's try the other pad. Go through this way. there now. There's a lovely seat here. Anyone gonna care to join me? Hi. Nothing? Okay. The rooms make sense but they don't. It generally goes inverse on the world. Generally being the keyword naturally. Introverted or extroverted why are there lockers stacked on top of other lockers? That makes no sense. What if it was something off the second top one? For example. That makes no sense. That's the Oracle. It's a piece of stone. It stares on your broken soul. Okay. There's a world full of these darks. Nothing else I can describe them as. Hi. And you think, what do I just... Okay. Pink sherbet again. I'm not rich enough for a drink. Blueberry bomb. Or... We'll stick to Grenade Red for now. Another mirror. Okay, this one doesn't do anything that time. Okay. 
There's a lot of these worlds. Another one. This is a duck race. That's what it is. It's just a duck race. Nothing in here? Okay. Just no purpose. What the? What is this? Hey, me, was you indulge while you was in that room? What kind of drugs did you insert? Oh my. Hi. So, handy advice number one, do not do drugs, kids. That room was insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So that's enough for this water world. I believe that that is all there is to it in that particular section of the game. Okay, so let's go back and try and find another path elsewhere. Broken mirror. There's this, there's that very ill mannequin. Any other doors in this place? Hmm. Eyes staring into me, not a particularly good sign. Surely there's gotta be one down there, if that roof thing's up there. Maybe. Well, I'm glad I delivered that box anyways. That's all good. And we got a key as well, which doesn't sharpen our items. Nor there. Why does it say end session as well? That really doesn't make any sense. Wake up would be better. More of a, more of a fitting feel to the situation rather than ending a session. Unless of course we're just playing the computer game of us. Imagine playing a computer game where you're venturing into a world where you're controlling you as a character. That would just be so weird. And personally, I probably would not want to play that game. Especially if it's a horror game. It would be even, even more horrific if it's a romance game as well, actually. <laughs> Which crush are you going to be crushed with today? Okay. I didn't mean to go back into the forest. Let's just... Let's venture even more into this pink-like world and see what we can find. Because I bet that's not the only path which we can go through. Nope, that's not it. One square tiles or something which I think is a door. That's why I, ex I examine them. Not these corner ones, but just like one sticking out on its own, horizontally. Or vertically. But not diagonally. Not unless if it's a very special tile. Anything down here? Anything. I'm all ears. I'm all eyes as well. Ah, oh, there is something down here. Excellent. Go through here then. Wow, look at all this. Steam coming out of it. And the steam is interactable. Guess it was over here then. Everything is so... Glorious. Everything's so calming at the same time. It's very nice. Everything is so dreamy. Everything is so calming. Everything is so soothing, relaxing, enjoying at the same time. Through there we shall go through. Through the rainbow door. Why do you? That's not the only one which has a question mark on it though. And those letters probably mean something or say something. Put all of them together and you make the longest word in the English dictionary. Or the French dictionary. Or the German dictionary. Or the Italian Dictionary, Spanish, Belgian, however you want to call it. Is this place infinite? 
just like space itself is infinite. You couldn't really put a tape measure into how big space is. It's just... The size of space is something that nobody could even comprehend the size of. Like, it's just one of those things where you couldn't, you couldn't even put a size into account. It's so massive, space is. The universe, space, I actually think that maybe space is the closest thing that could be the size that is infinite. But, space, but infinite is not size. It's, it's a concept to say that there is an infinite bigness to something, or there's an infinite number of something. So it's also a quantity as well as a measurement. It's like when you divide something by zero, you're just not going to get an answer to it. Just straight up divide by zero, you get infinite. That's why when you put it on a calculator, it gives you that error on it. Because there's no number which you can put together which matches up to divide by zero. 25 divided by 1 is 1. 25 divided by 0 0.5 is 50. 25 divided by 0 0.1 is 250. 0 0.01, 2500. But you can't divide anything by 0. You can't even divide 0 by 0. I don't know. Maybe you could. Because you're not actually dividing anything in that matter. Hmm. This is the first area I've encountered where I'm actually struggling to find the another door of some sort. So that's the rainbow door which we came from. These are all the different letters which are floating about. Hmm. I don't think this place is infinite, it's just really big. Really big. Really wonderful at the same time. Because you even imagine, you, you would think that going across from one side of a country to another is really big, depending on the size of the country itself. Because imagine if you live in Russia, for example, that is colossally big as a country. It's the biggest country in the world, Russia is. And then you have other countries like the United States. Even Indonesia is very big. Brazil, uh, China, uh, trying to think of huge countries. It's like Russia is even bigger than Europe put together. It's probably even bigger than the United States and Europe put together. Oh, another big one, Canada. Canada and the Antarctica. Then again, you probably wouldn't even call Antarctica a country in itself. It's more like a, just a continent. But at the same time, it could be considered as a country. But it's not like there's any government in Antarctica. There are people, just not something which is like a government which calls it a country. I don't know, you're going to have to fill in the comments of that. Fill in the facts for me there. If you are an expert in Antarctica slash Antarctic, because people get confused which is Antarctica and which is Arctic. Arctic is north. Arctic is polar bears. Antarctic is south. Antarctic is penguins. I was just going through my animal biology, which is which, but no. Penguins south, polar bears north. That's how it's always been. And at the moment, I am not finding anything which resembles a door which I can go through and not be collided by lots of lion looking things. Uh, let's see now. This has been quite a long episode, I'm not going to lie. And there's another path which we can go to from that blood eye door. But I think we're going to have to do that in the next time because this has been quite a big episode. Look at all those different letters. It's knowledge. 
We come here for the... Oh my god. Five, six. Lots of fives and a six. Lots of fives and a... It's either a one or a two there. Not specific. Wow. Go through here then. Hi there. Drawers. Let's talk to you first. Hi. The same expression on your face. Okay, nothing to say. Just that. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to that. I thought we found another big passage somewhere, but nope. Not in that sense, anyways. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? I'd like to explore the rest of this area before ending off the episode. Because it just means I know that I have done everything. Uh, exploring this game has been really good so far, but finding effects, not so good. It seems that the effects are really well dispersed out. And in areas which I've not yet been in. So there's a the thing. Ever since I was a child, I love space. Oh, I've already been here? Okay, be like that then. Yeah, ever since I was a child, I loved space. I still love space as well. It's just the mystery behind everything. Like, the origins of... What could be... The origins of how our planet is perfect for life to be on it. Like, I think as an object in space to have the perfect temperature, perfect environment for life form to exist is it's so remarkable and I always like to think of the idea that there could be another planet somewhere, not in this solar system but another galaxy, another supercluster that there is a galaxy within that supercluster which has a life form in itself. Maybe not human forms, but something else. Something else which has a very advanced evolution in line in which they can build themselves a very hospitable ecosystem around them. A very joyous life in itself maybe spared from religion or maybe religion doesn't even exist in their cosmos which is probably a good thing actually I'm not saying that religion is bad but my gosh there's so many conflicts around the world which all root from religion itself so that's why I think that the negatives of religion heavily outweigh the positives of religion when it comes to being together, finding yourself common ground, hanging out with others, believing in something that's a common cause, that's all good with religion, I support that. But because of the different conflicts that happen throughout the entire world, it all comes from one fact, one thing, and that is something which is written in a book, something which is written in somewhere which has been written thousands of years ago and people just believe in this sort of thing and it it causes so much unnecessariness in the world that I feel that even though the concept of Christmas wouldn't exist if there was one thing I would eradicate from existence on planet earth it would be religion It brings happiness to people, and that is the kind of thing that I would keep as a concept. But when it comes to the different wars, the suffering, the violence that happens, the atrocities that religion commits is far bigger of a 
aspect than the positives that are brought about by religion. Like, you need to stop chasing ghosts of the past and live on. The only way that I feel that... Okay, let me put this blankly. The only way I feel that human wars will end is if humans themselves become extinct. That's what I feel anyways. It's like, there are some people out there which are just, which are unwilling to learn, unwilling to be nice, unwilling to accept. And I think that's the most, most critical thing, is that people don't accept. People just think that their views are the most important, that their views are too important, and if people don't like their views, then they will go out of their ways to ensure that people do believe in your views. Like if it's your own religion, for example. And I feel that the world would be much better off if religion was never a thing. Anyways, I'm going to go away from that topic now, because that's a very dicey topic. There's probably going to be the only time which I'm going to talk about it ever in a video. And I'd like for it to be kept that way. Anyways, Yumi Nikki. But sometimes it's okay to discuss certain topics because, well, at the end of the day, it is a worldwide topic. And it is something which us as people can discuss about. Discuss in a friendly, professional, non-hypocritical way. But just calm. Just friendly. Just cuddles at the end of the day. Hmm. Shall I or shall I not? Okay, I'm gonna just I'm gonna come back here in the next episode. So that's all that for today. So thank you very much for watching guys, and we're going to see each other in the next time of Yumi Niki fan game called me. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.